Jack's checking some work, but I finally have him. The worst of the worst. Where? Let's just say I put him in the hole and threw away the hole. There's rumors, Amanda, that some of them have abilities. Oh, yeah. I have seen things. Maybe Superman was some kind of beacon for them to creep back from the shadows. I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet who I think can do some good. They're bad guys. Exactly. And if anything goes wrong, we blame them. We have built-in deniability. What makes you think you can control them? Because getting people to act against their own self-interest is what I do for a living. Save the world. Welcome to another episode of Stuff with Key. This is my first video that I'm going to talk about DC Comics and its movie universe. As you all know, I'm a big Marvel fan and the MCU is my thing. So I don't really talk about the DC universe, but I know a thing or two about what's happening. So this video, I'm going to be focusing on one of the movies that's been getting a lot of buzz. And it's not Batman vs Superman, but it's actually Suicide Squad. I bet some of you are like this. Suicide? What? Or Batman or not? Superman? Suicide Squad is a group of super villains who have been captured uh, serving jail sentences and they are recruited by a lady named Amanda Waller who works for the government. So they are a special task force put together to perform some sort of like black ops missions for the government. And why use villains? Because if they get caught and the public knows about it, then the government will be clean and they will just pin the blame on these villains instead. But if they succeed in their missions, they actually get time shaved off their sentences. So, you know, shorter jail time. So, who are the Suicide Squad? Amanda Waller works for the government and she gathers a task force to take on high-risk black ops missions. So here's the released image of the Suicide Squad. From left to right, we have Slipknot, Captain Boomerang, Enchantress, Katana, Rick Flag, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Killer Croc, and El Diablo. Slipknot is a trained assassin who has mastery over ropes and knots. You know, kind of like the a boy, a very good boy scout but evil. Captain Boomerang has mastery over boomerangs. What do you expect? Well, okay, actually he's good at throwing other stuff with high accuracy too. Enchantress has magical powers which has various effects like attacking and healing. In the DC universe, magic is actually a very powerful element and it is actually one of Superman's weaknesses. Katana is a master swordswoman and a martial artist. 
Apparently she has a sword with magical properties called Soul Taker which allows her to communicate with the souls it has killed. Rick Flagg is not exactly a villain. He works for Amanda and is tasked with leading the Suicide Squad during missions. Harley Quinn was a psychiatrist for Joker before being turned insane by him. She becomes romantically involved with Joker. She is acrobatic and utilizes all sorts of weaponry. Deadshot is an assassin who has perfect accuracy with projectiles, though he usually uses guns and firearms. He has a kid that he cares deeply for. Killer Croc is a meta-human born with reptilian traits. He has super strength, endurance and speed. He usually uses bronze over brains to solve problems. A meta-human is a mutant born with special abilities. And lastly, El Diablo, who is a meta-human with pyrokinesis, or the ability to create and control fire. If you're wondering who this is, this is the infamous Joker, who was last portrayed by the late Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. That Dark Knight trilogy is unrelated to this movie's universe, and in this movie, the Joker's appearance is very likely to be a flashback involving Harley Quinn. And of course, this is the Batman, who is also probably appearing in a flashback sequence. An interesting note is that all these villains in the Suicide Squad were caught by Batman. Alright, and there you have it, the members of the Suicide Squad. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit better about who these anti-heroes are. If you like this video or if this video has helped you understand a little bit better about who these anti-heroes are, please uh, let me know by giving this video a like. Stay tuned to my channel because my upcoming videos, I'm going to be talking about the DC Universe as well. So talking a bit about Batman vs Superman, what are the movies that's upcoming in this timeline. Thank you very much for all your support my subscribers and for you who are watching this video. On a side note, I will announce the winners of my Dota giveaway in a few hours time, so stay tuned on my channel. Thank you once again for watching this episode of Stuff with Keith. Bye!